Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina and you're watching the weekly review of the stocks and commodity markets on Insta TV. The American stock market was expanding on Friday, August 11. However, by the end of the trading session, it fell amid escalating tensions between the US and North Korea. The Nasdaq Composite Index increased by 0.6% to 6,256.56 points. Still, the index lost 1.5% for a week. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed the Friday session with a rise by 0.1% to 21,858.32. However, the index declined by 1.1% for a week, which is the biggest drop since November 2016. The Standard & Poor's 500 rose by 0.1% to 2,441.32 on Friday. For a week, it slid by 1.4%. On Thursday, the U.S. stock indices closed the session with a sharp fall after Donald Trump warned Pyongyang against attacks on Guam, where the U.S. military base is located. Earlier, North Korea stated that it's ready for a simultaneous launch of four medium-range ballistic missiles that would land in the sea 30-40 kilometers from Guam as a warning to the U.S. Weak data on the U.S. inflation gave a certain support to the market on Friday. The result increased doubts that the Fed will be able to increase interest rates a third time this year. Consumer prices in the U.S. rose by 0.1% monthly and by 1.7% yearly in July. In both cases, inflation accelerated by 0.1% from June. Consumer price inflation in the U.S. has been below the forecast for five months in a row. The latest reading is the weakest since 2010. J.C. Penney shares sunk by 17 percent amid weaker-than-expected quarterly reports. In the second quarter, the net loss of J.C. Penney was $62 million, or 20 cents per share, compared to $56 million, or 18 cents per share, in the same period of 2016. The adjusted loss of J.C. Penney amounted to 9 cents per share, which significantly exceeded the market expectations of a 4 cents loss per share. Meanwhile, Snap Incorporated shares also took a nose dive, losing 14 percent. Quarterly losses of the Snapchat owner advanced almost four times due to a slowdown in revenue growth and in the number of users amid increased competition with Facebook. This concludes the weekly review of financial markets prepared for you by InstaTV team. Thanks for watching and see you back soon.